Good morning. Last week we learned about things that we need to have and things that we want to have. We learned that a need is something for us to survive, something like food and air and shelter and water and clothing. We all need those things to survive. We learned that those things that we have are goods. Those are the things that people make. We can touch them, we can see them, and we can taste them, just like these yummy donuts. A service is what people provide to us, like firefighters, police officers, and teachers, doctors, nurses. Those are very important people right now. Well, today we're going to learn how these things are made. We're going to learn about the difference between a consumer and a producer. Let's look at this page here. We see there is a title. It says, Let's Go Shopping. I wonder what it could talk about if we're going to go shopping. Many of you have gone grocery shopping with your parents. Maybe you've gone to Walmart or Kroger or Food Lion to get some groceries. The groceries are a need for us. But what do we call ourselves when we go grocery shopping? I see a word here in yellow. It says consumers. Usually in the sidebar, we will find the definition of some of the vocabulary. So let's look here. It says a consumer is a person who uses or buys goods or services. So a consumer is someone that goes to the store and buys those things. Or a consumer is someone who goes to the hairdressing shop or the barber and gets a haircut. A consumer is someone who goes to the toy store and picks out some toys. Those are consumers. Let's go ahead and read what it says. Oh, now wait a minute. I see there is a caption down here. It's very hard to read because it's very little. It says, how were you a consumer at breakfast this morning? Oh my goodness, did you have breakfast today? Did you consume something? Consume means that you used a good or a service. So if you had breakfast, you probably consumed some food. Maybe it was cereal or juice or a Pop-Tart. I know many of you like Pop-Tarts because you bring them to school. So whatever you ate for breakfast, you were a consumer. So now let's read what it tells us. Remember, this is the title, Let's Go Shopping. And this is the heading. The heading tells us what we're going to find on this page. Let's read it together. Where does your family buy the goods it needs? Do you go to the grocery store? Do you shop at a mall? We are all consumers. What kinds of things do we consume? Food and soap are two examples. Now I see another heading that it says producers. I wonder how a producer is different from a consumer. I do see another highlighted word here. It says producer. So let's go up into the sidebar and see what it tells us. Words to know. Producer. People who make goods or provide services. I know someone in our class whose father is a chef. He produces food. He produces and provides a service. So he is a producer. Some of your parents may watch other people's children. They are also produ pro producers because they provide a service. I am a producer because I provide a service to you by providing you an education. And right now, many of your parents, or maybe a brother or sister or grandma, are also being a producer by helping you learn some new things while we are not in school. There is a caption right here. It says, explain how this man is both a consumer and a producer. Looks like he works in a grocery store. What do you think? How could he be a consumer? Yes, he probably goes to the grocery store and buys some of those groceries. This is called produce, the fresh fruits and vegetables, at the grocery store. How is he a producer? 
He is a producer because he is providing a service to the grocery store by putting the fruits and vegetables out that we can buy. Let's read a little bit about what a producer is. This man owns a fruit shop. He is a producer. Producers usually get paid for the goods and services they offer. Many people are both consumers and producers. The owner of this fruit store is a producer because he provides a service. He sells fruit to the community. He is also a consumer. He uses the money he makes in his store to buy food and clothing for his family. Well, now let's look over here. Here is a little girl, and it says, Is this girl a producer or a consumer? Why? What do you think? That little girl actually looks like one of the girls in our class, doesn't it? Big fancy smile. Looks like many of the people in our class. What do you think? Is she a consumer or a producer? I see she's got a shopping bag, a couple of shopping bags. So she went to buy something. She is a consumer. Remember, a consumer is someone who buys things that they need and want. So today we learned about what is a consumer. A consumer is someone who buys goods or services and we learned that the producer usually gets paid for the goods and services they offer. Things like babysitters, the people that work in the stores that collect your money, whether you're the clerks, it could be the people that even put things out on the shelves. Those people are very important right now. Truckers who are bringing all of our goods and service, our goods right now into the grocery stores are also very important producers. So today we learned about consumers and producers.